Good morning. Today we're going to be looking at the ripple tank to see how two coherent sources can form an interference pattern. We'll look at how the experiment is set up, and we're going to use photo and video to try and analyze what's going on. Here we can see a ripple tank set up from the front. A light shining from above the water tray creates shadows beneath, which can be seen on the white paper placed below. An interference pattern can be clearly seen, with the ripples created by each dipper radiating outwards and superposing, creating regions of constructive and destructive interference. Before we get into the details, let's see how this experiment is set up. The ripple tank tray, bordered in blue, is placed on a bench with three pillars fitted on top, left and right having hooks attached to them. The middle uses a boss to fix a 6 volt lamp inside a reflective container, open at the bottom, to shine light on and through the water. Two dippers are pushed inside holes made in a grey plastic bar, onto which is attached a motor with an asymmetric mass. The bar is suspended from the two hooks using springs. When the motor is connected to the ripple tank controller, the asymmetric mass can be made to spin causing the motor to oscillate the bar and dippers attached. Water is added to the tank and the legs are adjusted until the tank is approximately level as seen by the water in the tank. More water is added and the dippers are adjusted until they are touching the water. Once the system is complete and switched on, the dippers bob up and down in the water, causing ripples. Let's take a look now at the ripple tank in action. This video is filmed from above the ripple tank, looking down through the water at the shadows created beneath by the 6 volt lamp. We can see the waves being produced by each dipper. As the two dippers are both attached to the grey bar, they are moving with the same frequency and have a constant phase difference. It appears to be approximately zero. As a result, the two dippers are coherent sources and can form an interference pattern. If we slow the video down, we can see in more detail the movement of the individual waves as they move radially outward. Light blue arcs have been added to show the movement of a pair of wavefronts. It can be seen that as they propagate outwards, the two waves superpose and where they overlap undergo constructive interference. The points at which these occur are highlighted with small red circles. If we follow these points, we can see that they fall along a line where constructive interference is taking place. Here we can see a still image taken from the front of the ripple tank which makes these points of interference clearer. Where wavefronts overlap, small red circles have been placed once more. By extrapolating between these, we can begin to see a pattern emerging. However, to see the interference pattern more clearly, let us turn to the excellent Falstad ripple tank simulation. Two sources have been added to this simulation, both operating at the same frequency. As the ripples spread out, we can see that a similar pattern is forming as before, with points of constructive interference clearly visible. However, if we allow the simulation to continue so we can see the ripples at a greater distance from the sources, the pattern becomes clearer. Changing the simulation from grayscale to coloured makes it easy to see the lines where constructive interference is taking place, labelled now with red lines, and destructive interference, labelled with blue. The pattern of alternating interference is clear, with areas of maximum amplitude where superposition is constructive, and minimum amplitude where it is destructive. Now, if we return to the video clip seen at the start, you may be able to see the areas of constructive and destructive interference more clearly. That concludes our video on the Ripple Tank. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this enjoyable and informative.